And welcome to another edition of the audiobook. This is Reverend Deborah Bennett. And this is Ed Cosper. <laughs> We're off to another month welcoming everyone to Cultivating Relationship. Uh, and what a perfect monthly theme for this month as we once again open our doors and welcome you into in-person worship if you would like to join us. So starting this Sunday at uh, Doors Open at 930, come on in, uh, listen to some beautiful music and join us in worship. What is this Sunday's worship all about, Ed? Well, this Sunday's worship is going to be about no strangers among us. This is Reverend with Reverend Deborah Bennett. As children, many of us are warned of stranger danger. In fact, whole societies, entire religions, and cultural systems are often developed with an in crowd to be welcomed and an out crowd to be feared. Mm -hmm. Perhaps these ways of living in the world had important utility in millennia in the past, but could it be maladaptive mal for our current situation as humans on this planet? I think so. What would happen if we lived as if there were no strangers among us? Mm. Sounds like a good topic, uh, a good way to start yes. off, too. And listen, I want to let folks know, you know, we're not having a big grand reopening yet because we're aware that a lot of folks are going to continue to uh, join us online. Not of all of our children have, have had the opportunity to get vaccinated, um, but we didn't want to miss out on that traditional ritual of water communion. So we are going to have a little water communion uh ceremony this Sunday. So if you are online, you'll be invited to have some water nearby. If you are joining us, you're invited to bring a small container of water. And I will also have uh, containers of water here from our own Noonday Creek. So, uh, so just come and it will just be a nice little ritual to remind us how we used to start our, uh, our, our uh, season every yes. year. Yes, yes. It's going to be an exciting time for us. By the way, Reverend Deborah. There were some magnets that should go out. Oh, right, right, right. I hope everybody got those. Did you get your magnet? I haven't gotten it yet. What? I'm, I'm guessing it's coming today. Uh, no, they went out like a month ago. Oh, well, I got that one. No, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting another one, eh? <laughs> so I hope everyone received uh, received something about a month ago. It was this wonderful uh, magnet. And the thing about that magnet is, if you hadn't noticed, there it has a slot and you there was a postcard. And yes. then you would put the postcard in. And so our intention is that each month we will produce a new postcard with the current month's theme and a little inspiration for that month. And I know mine's on my refrigerator and I just look at that little card every... Mine is on my refrigerator. Awesome. So this Sunday when you come, those of you that are coming in person, we will have a new postcard for you for our new theme of embracing... No, we're not embracing relationships. We're cultivating relationships. <laughs> uh, so we'll have a new card, a new postcard for that. And if you would uh, like to have one and are not able to get here to pick one up, uh, please let us know. We'll arrange some pickup times. Maybe we can have some out there on Wednesday. Wednesdays when Joe, when Joe and Susan are done uh, months. Okay, that's before. later in our show here. Okay, yeah. let's move on. We, we do have some fellowship time coming, right? Yes, we've got fellowship time immediately following the service. Of course, for those of you who are in person, we'll be meeting outside. We'll, we'll uh, identify an area for some, you know, light refreshments. Uh, but also online, we will still have fellowship time available for all of you who are online. So just stay right on the on the service link and you'll be connected to the fellowship time there. Awesome. Yeah, and so this is a little new territory. We're beginning our, or we're continuing our AREs, our adult religious explorations, and we're going to do our best to offer both in-person and online options. So bear with us while we, uh, while we try to figure this out. Uh, this Sunday, we have a few options for you. Uh, I am offering Meet the Minister and Discover You You. That is going to be in person. And that's a time to learn a little bit about just a brief history of Unitarian Universalism uh, to meet me. And I'll tell you a little bit about my journey to Unitarian Universalism. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for new folks to come in and get acquainted. But you know what? If you've been around for a while and you want to come, please come. Well, you know, I would love to come. However, on Sunday, we have service reflections in the sanctuary for those who are here in person. And this is our time 
as you remember, for us to talk about today's topic and, and how that affects in, uh, your life and what experiences that you can, uh, you can pull from today's message. I might also say that, uh, uh, are we going to have that online too? No, 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 we won't have that online. I, I think we're going to try just because that's a lot of moving parts. So those two are going to be just in person here. Um, and then online, though, we are going to offer, um, James Poteet is offering his empathy exercises again. And he had offered this once before, and it was a smashing hit. And um, I'm so excited that he is willing to offer it again. That one is going to be online only. So um, here's the uh, here's the blurb about it. Develop your ability to empathize with others, particularly people you don't understand. Oh, wow. I, should, <laughs> I, I might need that. Yeah. Join for this heart-opening session where we focus our attention on others of all kinds. Oh, so if you would like to join that, that is going to be online, and you just stay in the uh, worship room, and you can go to that breakout room at 1115. That sounds great. Our faith formation classes for kids will begin at 1115. That's our elementary explorers, grades K through 5, and our junior youth, grades 6 through 8, will both be meeting in the forest classroom. Jillian Scow and Audrey Tice will be dealing with, will handle the uh, elementary explorers. <laughs> we'll be enjoying. But, uh, we'll be enjoying the elementary explorers. Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Thomas and Sarah Drew will be working with the junior youth. They'll, they'll both be do, uh, diving into some of the possibilities that are available uh, through our Soul Matters program. Yeah, and they're going to be working on cultivating relationships now. Oh, how yeah. exciting. That's very good. Okay, so uh, so those classes are in person, outside. The senior youth will be meeting um, in a hybrid class. So they will be meeting inside uh, for those that are vaccinated or uh, COVID negative tested, or you can join them online as uh, Noel and Angelica help uh, on the road together, help them uh, explore their path of um, cultivating relationships. <laughs> oh, b- by the way, if you missed last week's service or you want to watch a previous service again, just follow us on our YouTube page mm-hmm. so you can see past services and ministry messages there as well. Mm-hmm. And the pause, the pause is there too now. So if you uh, need a little moment of meditation, uh, enjoy the pause. They're all about seven minutes, so it's really, uh, it's really not a lot. So, um, so let's talk about some of the spiritual inquiry we have going on here. Well, one thing is I'm available. So if you uh, would like to take some time with me for spiritual care or counseling or even just to get to know each other better, uh, please look in the notebook. There is a link uh, that you can click to schedule an appointment. I'd love to uh, get to know each of you even more. <laughs> I look forward to that all the time. <laughs> I've got my t- my schedule planned for it. <laughs> hey, folks, get your chi on. Weekly qigong classes with Reverend Deborah are back. Mm-hmm. Increase your vitality and decrease your stress with this ancient Taoist pra- physical and spiritual practice. No experience is necessary. Just wear comfortable clothing and be prepared to breathe away tension. (sighs) (laughs) Classes have moved to Zoom only due due to the current Delta variant levels. They do meet on Thursdays, 6 to 7 p.m. So check your notebook. Off for that Zoom link. And we will move back into in-person, but because we're breathing a lot and it really would be hard to do it with a mask on, we're going to stay online for a little while longer. Um, so, hey, and the Buddha Sitting Group is also currently online. They meet Thursdays at 7 p.m. Uh, it's a wonderful group of folks come. Uh, I know they take a little bit of time to sit in quiet meditation together, and, but then they also study uh, teachings of Buddhism. So it's a really great, wonderful group. Hey, there's lots of congregational happenings. What do we got going, Ed? Yeah, congregational engagement. We have an Emerson calendar, uh, so please check with your notebook on how to get there as well as our website. And also uh, check out the Synergist because that Synergist is an opportunity for you to get to know other congregants as well as um, an opportunity to know about Emerson and UUism. Mm-hmm. Also, I might just mention, <laughs> we 
Don't Wal- just mention. Yell it to the well, top. Okay, yell it. Don't it. just mention it. Waldo is back. It's coming back. <laughs> so save Woo! the day. Save the day. Waldo's Coffee Wait, House. Wait, what's the date? I got to put it in my calendar. Well, I got to tell you, it's coming up on November the 6th all right, at all right. 7 p.m. All right. With the wonderful True Stories performing. That's Ooh. a duo from Cartersfield. Right. So please save the date. $10 donation or pay what you can. All right. All right. What is more important is that you come and we as Emerson uh-huh. get together in a community and spend time together listening to wonderful music. Oh, I'm excited because Waldo's is back. <laughs> All right. That is exciting. That'll be a wonderful. So that's a Saturday night. That's going to be great. Uh, also, hey, uh, and uh, Alex Spitzer, the Alex Spitzer Dance Company. Alex is uh, one of our members. If you haven't met him, he's just an amazing, wonderful guy. And he's going to be performing. Uh, the name of the performance is called At Least Six Feet. Oh, I wonder where they got that from. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's with the Beacon Dance Company. Now, the performances are on October 2nd, so that's coming right up. And then also on October 16th. It says part of the Elevate Festival. Uh, and Alex just wants uh, to invite us all to come down to Atlanta and see him dance. Uh, in fact, he says it's the only performance this year. Both performances are free. So there's more details about that in the notebook itself, about the uh, exactly where to go and how to get there. And I want to say last year I did go to one of Alex's dance performances, and it was just just beautiful. It's it's a really great dance company, and it was just wonderful to uh, to watch him dance. So if you haven't had that chance yet, check it out. How exciting that Alex is getting to do this again. So um, go for it, Alex. (laughs) (laughs) My favorite. I know it is. My favorite thing every year is Trunk or Treat. The Trunk or Treat rides again. Last year, Emerson adults and teens created wacky fun Halloween displays in the trunks of their vehicles for a fun afternoon of passing out treats to 40 Emerson children. It's going to be more this year, by the way. I I can tell right now. It was great outside fun. Save the date. It's Saturday, October the 30th from 3 to 5 p.m. for this year's event. Family Emerson Drivers. You are invited to decorate your vehicle trunks in an awesome theme to hand out treats to our back parking lot. Folks that are coming in, all the kids and the older kids, too, for Emerson Trick or Treater Kids. RSVP today to participate as a host trunk or treat vehicle. An RSVP with name and best contact of Beth Klein, our Director of Family Minister. Mm-hmm. DFM at EmersonUU.org. Yeah. And, you know, you can have a truck, too, because I had a truck which doesn't have a trunk. It has a truck bed, right? We didn't have a yeah, but that qualified. I because hope so because we did. There was some exciting stuff being shot out of <laughs> cannons on what that truck. What do you think I man? should do this year? I have to come up with something different this year. Help me figure that out, Ed. We'll talk about that later. Okay. All right. Uh, some news from Emerson Family Ministries. They are continuing to look for additional paid child care staff to work in our n- nursery and playtime areas from nine fifteen a.m. to twelve forty five p.m. on Sundays. Uh, so successful applicants will love children, be able to engage with kids uh, and monitor their safety. Uh, so there's more details about that in the notebook. But if you are interested or you know someone that might be interested, uh, please check that out and contact Beth um, and let her know you're interested. That sounds great. You know, Emerson gives. Each month, Emerson UUC partners with a local organization that aligns with our values. In September, we raised $431 for our partner organization, the Bible Tabernacle Haitian Assembly of Marietta, in support of efforts to heal Haiti from the earthquake that devastated the island. Together, we've raised $4,050 for local charities this year. Yoo-hoo! Really great. Hey, that's that fantastic. Really that's all online, too, right? Yes. Mostly online, yeah. Let's keep it going. In October, we share the basket with Lost and Found Youth. So mm-hmm. you find more information about how you can participate in giving. See the notebook, and you can just, because you'll be here 
in well, person on Sunday, yeah. you can drop a donation in the basket. You can. You can. You can text that donation or drop it in the basket. We will pass it around. Those lollipops are coming back. Woo! I know, right? All right. All right. We've got some justice ministries here at Emerson, and let me tell you what's going on. Hey, this is really important. I know this is coming right up, uh, and you may not have heard about it, but on October 2nd, that's this this Saturday here, there's a rally for reproductive reproductive rights. Uh, so please join members of uh, many of our Atlanta metro area Unitarian Universalist congregations and many, 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 many other people October 2nd at 11 a.m. at Liberty Plaza behind the Capitol to fight for reproductive rights. The event is being organized by Planned Her- Parenthood, Southeast Advocates, uh, Indivisible Georgia, and we are March On. Okay, join us uh, and show your support for reproductive rights. So there is more information in the notebook. And I know there's a carpool taking off, I think, at 915 or 930 here from Emerson. So uh, join them if you can. How important is that for us to get our our voices heard? Yeah. On Wednesdays here at Emerson, we have our Must Ministries donations. Well, Last week, the 26th barrel of food was just picked up. (laughs) So thanks to all of you that donated. Why don't you stop by Emerson and drop off some much-needed food, clean out your pantry, because Susan and Joe are here every Wednesday from 10 to 1. Just think, we've collected around 2,600 pounds of much-needed food. (laughs) People are not going hungry from us. (laughs) That's really great. It's really, it's one of those uh, ministries we do that just continues on and on. So it's so important. Uh, Let's talk about a little bit of family ministry news. So first and foremost, welcome back to Faith Formation at 1115 for all kids. So I know the last couple of weeks, some of our kids were meeting at 4.15 uh, out back, but we are back to 11.15 meeting. K through 12 grades are going to meet at Emerson, as we mentioned before, in our forest classrooms. So uh, just do make sure to wear your outdoor play clothes, closed-toed shoes, uh, and I know they had some bug spray there uh, as needed, too. Uh, let's see. Refreshment time. Uh, oh, meet after service during refreshment time to walk to back parking lot. Uh, and you'll be escorted to the forest classrooms. If it is very rainy or something like that, uh, we'll announce uh, what we're going to do about that when the time comes. Yes. Child care, children's chapel, and extended playtime are open to unvaccinated kids at 9.30 a.m. Sign your non-vaccinated kids into child care in the nursery or a four-year-old and older in the main floor fellowship hall together for special programming. Bring your mask and we'll go out to play, make a craft, or have a body meditation. Mm. And meet our families after service for outside refreshments at 10.50 a.m. Starting this Sunday, October the 3rd, vaccinated students join their families in the worship service in sanctuary in the sanctuary at 9.45 a.m. starting this Sunday. Awesome, awesome. All right. Uh, And this Sunday, uh, Eva Cronin will be the acting director of Family Ministries. And do you know why that is? Where is our dear Beth? Well, Beth is going to be at her daughter's wedding. (laughs) Uh, Katie Klein is getting married to a wonderful man named Reeve, and that's in uh, D.C. So, Beth, we love you. We love you, Katie. Uh, We just wish for you a beautiful, beautiful day on Sunday. Or are they getting married on Saturday? Whichever day you're getting married, we we hope it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, just and a, one little reminder. Uh, you know, all the kids got to be registered. So parents, parents, please make that happen. Actually register your children so we know they are there. We'd like to share some joys, sorrows, and concerns. From Matt Michelle Feldman, Zoe has spent her first time away from home. She has mm-hmm. been in a respite, a, a residence this weekend that she was absolutely thrilled. That is really Hey, great. congratulations, Matt and Michelle. Yeah, yeah. How exciting. And, and Zoe, we're so glad. We're so yeah. happy for you. Uh, another note here to please keep uh, Wynette Stone's family in your thoughts as Emerson receives news of her recent passing on September 13th in Athens, Georgia, after a brief illness. And from Jeffrey Jacoby, our dear friend, Curtis Robinson, passed away during the night earlier this week. 
We are doing our best to support his husband, Jay, during this time. Mm. Our hearts are going out to yeah. both Jeffrey and Bruce and the family. Yeah, we're so sorry. Uh, and uh, some news from Gail Paso. Uh, Gail wanted us to know that um, her oldest and only son has been diagnosed with a very rare liver tumor, uh, and they're currently doing research uh, for surgeons and cancer centers. So please keep Kai in your prayers. Yes. And also our beloved Ed Cosper, uh, prayers sending out to you, Ed, uh, and Kathy for your 17-year-old grandson, Logan. He's scheduled for a brain aneurysm surgery this Friday, October 31st. So, Ed, our thoughts and prayers are with you and with Logan and your whole family. Thank you so much to all to everyone. Emerson's pastoral care team is here for you, ready to share a listening ear and a loving heart. To speak to a pastoral care associate or to have a joy, sorrow, or concern shared with the congregation during Sunday service, just email pastoralcare at emersonuu.org mm. or speak directly with Reverend Deborah by text or just call her at 770-569-3057. Thank you, Ed, and thank you all. So reminders, this Sunday, if you would like to join us in person, please come, come one, come all. Uh, Wear your mask, be vaccinated, or have a negative COVID test within a couple days of, of, of Sunday. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see I everybody. Know. <laughs> it's going to be so fun, and we'll have fellowship time outside. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a beautiful time. So hey, let's work on cultivating some relationships this month, Ed. Yes, I'm ready. All right, <laughs> all right. Here's our sign off. Peace and take peace wherever you go. All right. Blessings.